Parts of Florida looking forward to drying out this morning after getting pounded with a lot of rain yesterday. This is video from Sarasota that's south of Tampa. The city got one month's worth of rain in one day. So we're going to bring in meteorologist Mariel Ruiz here because Mariel, city leaders are saying this, this is definitely a record. Yeah, crazy. It, it's crazy, Cleo, because the last several weeks they've been in a significant drought. Oof. So they've had a long stretch of rain free days. So they were looking forward to the rain. However, a, too much too fast, right? And we'll continue to see some of this heavy rain, not just in Tampa, but south towards Miami as well, where flood watches continue. Now I was looking at some of the radar our estimated totals from yesterday over five to six inches of rain with more on the way. And it's all thanks to this just plume of moisture, that area of high pressure, helping pick up a lot of this moisture from the Caribbean and taking it into Florida. But now the National Hurricane Center says, wait, wait a minute. Once this little area of low pressure moves on into the Atlantic after it moves over Florida, it does have a very low end chance of some formation. Now I was looking at some of the satellite imagery from yesterday and it even looked like it's starting to get a well-defined uh, set of circulation, which is really typical with tropical systems this time of the year. But the winds were a little bit too low for it to really become much of anything, at least in the next, you know, three to four days. But a few models do take this going into the Atlantic. And if the Atlantic is warm enough, uh, we could even see our first name storm, which would contain the name Albert Alberto, I think, actually. All right. Yeah, so we'll be watching that for you, Mark. Yeah, I appreciate that, Marielle.